Guys, the chicken is here, back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're coming at you with the Season 17 Tech Tree Guide, and I think we've got a pretty flawless Tech Tree here, so pretty excited to show you guys this. Also, guys, don't forget to use the code chicken in the shop if you are grabbing instant training for the season or just in general. Uh, I do appreciate it, and we're doing a giveaway um, either tonight or tomorrow, $100 worth of instant training to anyone that has used the code uh, in the past uh, couple months, so... Make sure you're doing that. Subscribe to the channel for everything that is Warships. And let's get into it. So, you can see our base here. Now, I just simply copied one of the top global bases. I haven't used this one just yet, but it's pretty generic, I think. You know, yeah, this is kind of where you, this is where you want your engine rooms for three ERs. Uh, nice and spread apart. So, if they are heavy rushing, it takes them a while to go from engine to engine to engine. If they're using split heavy Zooka, um, they're far enough apart where, you know, they basically have to clear the entire map to get all the engines down. So... Let's look, let's take a look here. Now, <clears throat> we kind of made a last minute change to our tech tree plan. Um, initially, we had planned on rushing to four engines. Um, we changed that up and went more of like what we call base riding, um, which just means unlocking more defenses and upgrading them and things like that. So um, yeah, so here's what we did. Now, first we started off, we maxed out heavies. Uh, I unlocked troop damage, maxed that out. Then we went cannons, medics, uh, third engine now we're not actually using medics we just had to unlock them on this path so that's important just don't upgrade them don't use them they're worthless um and then we went troop health zookas flare get flare to at least rank three if you can um rank one flares you're gonna be constantly uh throwing them out again so just make sure you're, uh, you have them ranked up a little bit um then i actually went to brick i maxed brick out i think this is very important to do um, max brick, uh, just means you're going to have max battle orders, um, which it, it just makes the last longer. It makes them go faster, makes them do more damage. So very, very important to do that. Uh, then I went and I got boom mines and yeah, so we got boom mines and then, um, we basically, we almost maxed out everything that we had except for sniper towers and cannons, which we'll still do at some point, but it wasn't, uh. It, it was more important to upgrade the offense um, at, f at first right out of the gate than it was to max out the defenses. Um, we want to keep the defenses up, but uh, for right now, here's what uh, here's what we did. So, <clears throat> And then we went back after we got the boom mines and maxed out our, all our offensive stuff. We went back, we maxed out our uh, machine guns, leveled up the sniper towers, the cannons a little bit. And, uh, like I said, get the flares to at least tick three or so, um, to be able to use them. Yeah, and then, uh, I went back, I got the building damage, and I got the building health. Now, the biggest decision I made so far in the tech tree came down to this multi-node, or rifleman. Now, if you're just going to building health, it's actually a cheaper path to go through the rifleman, but we want to get the mines anyway, right? So, although it delays getting the building health a little bit, I think it's more worth it to get the multi-node because then you get an extra set of defense or an extra cannon, uh, and that's going to help you out the entire season versus Rifeman, which we're, I've only seen once, and we're probably not going to use them. They're probably not going to come into the meta at any point. Um, the only time that Rifeman are going to be worth it is way, 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 way down here uh, once we get the good Doctor and we start using Second Wind a lot, but we can worry about that when we come to it. For right now, we don't. It, it's not going to be of any benefit to us, whereas the... Machine guns are going to be helpful right out of the gate, so that's kind of the thought process on uh, on that one. But uh, but yeah, so that puts us to where we're at, and let's go over the attacks next. Let's go over the attacks. So we'll, we'll just do a couple live here. Now, there's essentially two attacks that we can do. One is heavy rush with battle orders. Very simple. Throw out all your heavies. Go from engine to engine to engine. Not a lot of science there. Um, but what I'm finding is working better is to uh, split rush with heavies and zookas. So you simply put um, two or three heavies down on one side uh, with two zookas behind them, and then one or uh, one heavy and then two zookas on the other side. But uh, for this base, I think what's gonna work well is just a nice clear um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, <clears throat> he's got some beefy, he's got some boom cans, he's got some cans, he's got some firepower. So we're gonna have to take out his entire base, it looks like, but uh, I think we'll be doing okay. Now, overall, um, for most of the bases that we're seeing, 
it's a little bit easier to split drop them and, and have them go on separate sides. This guy has all of his defenses pretty evenly spread out, so there wasn't any way to really do that. But let's see what we can do here. Now, all of our heavies are almost down. Okay, let's shock here. That was close. That was close. That was close. All right. Battle orders. Shock the engine room. Um, no benefit to shock the engine room. But uh, we did it anyways. Three minutes and two seconds. There we go, guys. So the base is holding up really nice. And the attacks are doing well. So, yeah. So that's your heavy Zooka uh, split. <clears throat> pretty simple. Pretty easy. Just, you know, throw them out. Use battle orders. Try to keep them alive. Make sure, you know, if you do have to shock, sh shock something, then shock it. Uh, I haven't upgraded my shocks. Just the value hasn't been there just yet. Defenses haven't been a huge issue. But, um, all right. So this base we're going to do differently. So we're going to go one, two, three. One, two. Brick. And basically what we want to do is we want to clear a path here so that we can put our one boat of heavy and two boats of zookas on the left and they'll go straight for that last engine room. So all we want to do right now is just simply clear defenses. So as soon as we get that uh, sniper tower down or that last boom cannon down, I think we're going to be okay. Okay, let's go battle orders. Now, looking back at this, we might have been okay to throw them all out at once. I don't know if it would have made a huge difference to split drop, but uh, this just kind of ensures that um, our troops are going to go the right way for us. Now, Bricks can go down a little bit early. I was going to get one more battle orders out of her, but uh, I think that's okay. Yeah. So, you know, it might be you might be better off simply um, <clears throat> just throwing out all your troops, especially if you're using heavies and zookas. Okay, they're going to hit some mines there. Ooh, man. This was the my slowest attack yet all season. This is the first sub three minute hit. But maybe we'll get lucky in our base. They're going to hold us out. Three, one. Oh, my God. Look at this, dude. Wow. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. That was not a good attack, but uh, it's all about that defense. It's all about that defense. So it does work. It does work. This is the base that we want to be using, guys. Wow, look at this, look at this, okay. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Brick. Now you notice how I saved one boat of just in case. Just in case they don't go the way that we want. But we're going to need a lot of troops out there, so. Uh, let's go battle orders. And. That one mine's not going to be enough to kill them. Okay, let's throw out our last boat. And see if we can get them. Oh, man. I think I dropped them way too late. Um, okay. This is going to be a little bit scary because we've got a lot of mines left. And I don't think I have any heavies. Okay. Come on, girls. I just need a couple of you to stay alive up there up top. There we go. That actually worked out pretty well. Three, six. So... We could have shaved a few seconds off by doing that a little bit more of a perfect drop. Um, but we're able to hold on, man. Three for three. That's what we call a chicken home run. A chicken run, guys. 257. And with that, uh, we're going to be close to move up to... Oh. Yeah, we're, we're streaking and we're close to move up to, uh, to rank 15. Uh, let's do one more. The attacks are really quick. Let's do one more. See, we'll get a little greedy. See, we go four for four. But, um... <clears throat> but, yeah. You know, if, if anything, like I was saying before, like, you might just be better to throw out all the troops and just spam battle orders. Um, if you've got a solid defense behind you. Um, if not, trying to split it and get the, getting them to go, you know, in the right direction, whether that's with a delay drop or um, just simply landing ramp uh, placements. Just make sure you're uh, trying to make the most of those because that's going to make the biggest difference. So, Whew. Finding opponent. It's hard to find opponent. It is like uh, 3.45 a.m. chicken time right now. All right, let's go. How do I want to do this, guys? Let's go. You know what? Let's just try it. Let's go one, two, three, four. One, two. Actually, I'm going to save another boat of Zookas 
for the end, I think. Just in case. We'll throw them out now. So we'll try a little bit less of a delay drop and a little bit more of just a drop. Okay. There we go. Let everyone get caught up here. Whoops. Okay, we're gonna have to shock and shock and shock. Another shock. And 313. 313. Okay. Let's see if that's enough. Let's see if that's enough. Caleb Andre. Oh man, four for four. And a fizzle. He was not able to get through our base. So the base is solid, man. The base is solid. I just started using it, and we went on a huge win streak. So that is what we want to do. But, uh, but yeah, guys, we're streaking. We're almost there at 15. Uh, at this rate, I think we'll get to uh, 16. No problems. And, uh, yeah, that is your Season 17 Texture Guide. I hope that helps you out, guys. Let me know um, if you did anything differently down below in the comment section. Uh, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.